Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Today we're going to show you how to perform a BIOS reset on an Acer laptop. We have an Acer Aspire 3 here. Uh, this of course will apply to most laptops with a uh, CMOS battery, um, but we're just doing it on an Acer computer. Now a BIOS reset, if, if you're here because your computer's not turning on, uh, you're hitting power and it's not turning on at all, a BIOS reset can be a good way to figure that out, but before you do that, because it's kind of an invasive fix, you've got to get into the computer. Before you do that, check out the video in the description uh, why your computer's not turning on. That'll be the first set of tests you do. Uh, that 50% or more identify the problem and you don't have to go into the computer and risk breaking something. So try that video first. Um, if that doesn't work, then come back here and do the BIOS reset. Uh, but flip your computer over, we're going to get into it. If you have any questions or comments throughout this video, if you get stuck, um, please leave a comment. We try to get back to you at least a couple times a day to help you out. Uh, first thing you want to do is remove any access doors. We have two. Um, I've already taken these two screws out. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop these doors off. All right. Um, I've also gone ahead and taken out all these screws. I did that because there were so many of them, it, it, it would have taken quite a while. Um, so I've taken off all these screws. I don't have to remove my RAM. I am going to remove my hard drive just because I like getting that out of there. Sometimes it, it flops out and it hangs and I'd rather take it out while I'm working on it so I don't break it. Um, and then I unplug it there. Okay. Um, now what I want to do, sometimes if you take off one of these access doors you can see your CMOS battery. In which case you don't have to take off your entire uh, panel. In my case, I, I can't access my CMOS battery from here so I have to take off the panel. I'm going to take my uh, small metal pry tool, I'm going to go around the edge, take that off. So mine came off relatively easily because I've already been in here. Uh, yours may take some more work around it. Just go slow, don't force it. Uh, you don't want to break anything. Now for a BIOS reset, you're looking for your CMOS battery. So let me zoom in on what you're looking for. There's your CMOS battery right there. Now you could see a couple different kinds. Usually they may be a little bigger, like this. But that's just a loose battery, kind of like a watch battery. Or it may look like this. It may be uh, wrapped in electrical tape with, with a plug. And this plug will plug into the, the motherboard. So you may see either one of these. If you see this one with the plug, you're kind of in luck. All you have to do is unplug it. If you see one like this, you have to actually physically remove the battery from its port. Now be careful because usually these are, are, are put in there kind of delicately um, and they're easy to break. Not the battery itself, but the port that, that it's in. There you go. So take the battery out. Oops, I think I just broke it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's very easy to break because I just did it. Um, but take your battery out and keep it out for about a minute. Um, what a CMOS battery does is it keeps power to your motherboard to keep its system running while the computer's off. Uh, so take out the, the battery, let it sit for a while, that'll reset BIOS. Uh, after about a minute, put that battery back in there. And I am going to add some electrical tape because I broke the port. So I don't want this battery falling out on me. Had to do it on the video, huh? That's wonderful. All right, so I'll add some electrical tape, make sure that bad boy is not moving. All right, so that's how you perform a BIOS reset without breaking it. Um, what you would want to do then is turn your computer on, see if that's helped. Um, again, if your computer won't turn on, don't try this first. Again, a risk of breaking it. Um, also, if this doesn't help, uh, leave us a message down bottom with what your problem is, what you're trying to fix, and we can help you out. Uh, so if you, th you enjoyed this video, if, if it helped you perform your BIOS reset, uh, please like and share. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thank you for watching.